Hello everybody and welcome back to this game, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We have to go find Gendar, but first, because I'm kind of a sucker for filling out maps, you, it doesn't like always fill out everything according to, it, like, it's pretty exact for where you've been, so I'm always like trying to like walk into the corners, so that way I know there's nothing in those corners. Eager. Hey. You ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. You're creepy. Watch yourself. Yeah. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little ah, cider shop okay. here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. How do you manage to run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Creepy! Um, although I kind of wonder what good credits are down here. Like, whatever sort, like, unless they, they have some sort of trade going on, like, not just with him, but overall. Like, there has to be some sort of trade with, like, the upper cities, like, or at least the lower city. Because otherwise, like, there's no way they would, like, I don't think there's any way they could get food and stuff down here. Like, unless, like, this is, like, the actual planet, and they could, I don't, think, I don't even know if you could grow something down here or what. But, like, it's industrial, but it's also organic down here. Uh, I'll be going now, bye. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, bye-bye. Outcast man. Uh, I wonder how they get the smoke out, actually, now that I'm thinking about it for these, um, these. Uh, whoop, I can go over here, but there's not, not that I'd want to steal from these people, because even though, oh, hey, even though it's in the game and it's, like, fine with, okay, we're good. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but... I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? He's got a very place? peaceful. Is there something you need of me or my voice. village? I will help you however I can. Peaceful, peaceful. Um, I guess I can get his perspective. Who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. Okay, so he's as okay. my father was, Descendant. and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Although I'm pretty sure there's no aliens down here, which is a little bit odd. I wonder if it was just like a, a budgeting constraint or like a like an engine constraint. I feel like that looked like him who just walked past us and he took Karth with him. Hey, w wait, wait, bring, I, I, and he, <laughs> I would still like to speak to you and please bring back my future boyfriend. Um, what a horrible way to live. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rue Kill. Tell me about the rat ghouls. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. They're Their disease zombies. draws to infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. So they are like. Uh, they were human once, ostensibly. I, I mean, realistically, there'd be like a bunch of like, a diff like humans would just be one of the aliens down here. You know what I mean? But it's probably game constraints. Um, but also, what was I just thinking? Anyway, it's just really creepy to me. All the <laughs> I don't think that's in that guy. Might have a slightly different haircut, but um, it's just funny. But uh, you think I don't know that the planet would. This is such an archaic way of, like, an archaic justice system, for one thing, to banish people like this. 
And for another thing, like, you would think if you had a zombie problem in your basement, you'd want to take care of it. Because if you keep chucking people down here and they keep getting infected, even though they have, like I saw in the distance, they have, like, the barriers and stuff, which I don't know if they put together themselves or if, like, the city was like, here, we'll at least, like, you know, wall this area off for you. But, like... I don't know if rat ghouls breed or if they just, uh, like, infect, they just pass it on. I think it's probably just an infection thing. But, like, y you'd think you'd stop chucking down people down here because eventually then you're just gonna get, like, a horde of zombies coming up your elevators, you know? Like, I'm sure you can stop, like, even a band of, like, regular, like, humanoids, like, with blasters, but, like... You really... I don't know. I guess maybe it would just be the lower city probably affected. And they probably don't care. People in the upper city probably don't care. But still, it seems like a very archaic system. This isn't supposed to be a nice planet in the first place, though, so I guess I'm not terribly surprised. Ask questions. your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Vow. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. She doesn't talk to you guys? That's weird that she just, like, I don't know, she's like a kid, probably, right? Where she's just, like, I don't know, doesn't, like, she sees the unpleasantness, but if she's, like, a street kid, she probably just ignores it to have her own, like, fun, you know, doing whatever fun things a street kid does. I don't know. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become um, a meal for the rat ghouls and the other foul creatures. Do you guys eat the other creatures? I think there's like rat type things down here. Questions? Ask your question. Uh, so something about other upworlders who came by recently? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Uh-huh. I'll be going. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. It's also apparently an inherited position, not an elected position. Oh, are you? Oh, hey. You. You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path. Are you the herald of prophecy? Wow, wow, that's the big. The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Wait, no, no. Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? I mean... Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Thank you, Karth. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. I mean, a bunch of upworlders have come through. Maybe one of them's your salvation. Unless I can start a revolt and get you guys up to the surface, like, I don't think things are going to change. You know what I mean? And even then, we get up to the lower city. Even if we get to the lower city, like, how do we get out? You know, like, we, by the time, I'm sure an alarm would go off and, like, I don't know. I don't even know how many people, if any of these outcasts ever escape, because, like, right now, it's just, I guess, okay, I was like, it's just one Sith up there, but there's, like, there was, like, eight turrets up there, so. Uh, could I ask you some questions? A question? You are uncertain, bewildered, Always. perplexed. Yeah. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, uh, right? I myself still become confused at times. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me Rumpel sometimes. Rumpelstiltskin. I'm Brain Carr. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... That seems well, silly. I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. 
I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. What was she looking for? I will help you. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere Whoa, in the other wait, city. Wait, wait. <laughs> but if you will find her, I will know and you to be our true wait, savior. Whoa. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. My dude, I'll be back if I find anything. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. I... That's a lot to put on a person who... And, like, how many people have you said that to, you know? That's a gate. I don't want to go over to the gate. Oh, this is the elevator. Okay. Okay, so this is a pretty small village. And I will... Okay, go to the gate. Outcast healer. Hello. Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Danger and suffering? Uh, wait, who are you? I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. What are you talking about? But I know what she's talking about. The villagers infected with the Rutgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform That's into horrible kind of creatures that would destroy us all. Like so you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. That's very cowardly. I think if they actually cared about these people, they would kill them before they turned into a rat ghoul. Like, if it was me, I would make a pact with somebody. I'd be like, if I turn into a rat ghoul, like, I don't want to live or die that way. I want to die human or whatever, you know, like, whatever alien I am. Like, I want to die me. I don't want to die a monster. And, like, if it was somebody I loved and cared about, you know, like, my, like a child or, or a parent, you know, I'd... You know, as long as they wanted me to do it, like, I would. Like, if you didn't, that's fine. It could be a choice thing, you know? But, like, I think if you honestly cared about somebody, you wouldn't let them suffer like that. You would you would kill them. Which sounds really harsh, but, like, I don't know. I, I've grown up in a world of, like, you know, making packs with your friends as children about zombie apocalypses, you know? And, like, since I was little, it was like, you know... If I'm gonna die a monster, I'd rather die a human. So you make packs with your friends to, to, to you know, to kill you if it comes to that. You know, it's kind of, maybe it's not kind of odd sounding to some people, but I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, oh yeah, I've done that, you know? But it's like, it's true though. Like, dying as yourself, I think in some cases, is a privilege and one that I would rather have than dying a monster. There must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract oh. the rat ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. Wait, is this not the gate out? This is like literally just a... Pe I thought they put them outside with the rest of the evil, like whatever rat ghouls, but these are actually infected people that are not turned into rat ghouls yet. Yeah. Yeah, no, so you just leave the infected ones to die, you're a coward. I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can live. I accept this. If you think that makes me a coward, so be it. Okay. Farewell. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this I don't think I encountered last time. Could I just open it? Because there's like a wall right there. I don't think I can... Yeah, it's like blocked in. Okay, so if I can get, because one of the quests I have is to find the rat ghoul serum. How do I get out, though? If this is... If that's not what I thought it was. Oh, is it the, the bigger gates? Okay, I, don't, I didn't see that before. So if I can find a serum, which is one of my things to do for that medic up top, I can maybe help those people. Those hurry, ones Endar! Are... Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! He has a lightsaber. Uh, I... I can't. The Rackles are too close. The mutants Stop will kill him talking if they don't about open it. the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No, they no. won't. You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! 
I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Open the gate. I will kill the rat ghouls. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. You know, in this time, go in, guy. Go in. Oh my gosh, is he still out? He's still. In the time it took me to get out, you could have freaking gone in. Oh. Quick, kill him. Oh. Karth, do something. What? Oh, the rat ghoul hits hard. Owie. Oh. Oh, die. oh no. Damn. I've Oh, shoot, sick. you got infected. But you're not gonna die, probably. Oh, cool. I was busy putting my shield on. Freaking it. Silly people. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Ah, cool, I can go in and out. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags... Bye, car! It would be yours. Crap. But we have nothing. I, I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Okay. You're a coward. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my I ramblings. I left Karth out there! Is there something you need, Upworlder? Oh my gosh, who are you? I'm Trillin. From the outcast village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. Okay, bye. Goodbye, Upworlder. I'm pretty sure anything I say to you at this point will just be repeated. But, okay, Karth, cool. You're alive, what? I'm alive. Happy day. Hmm? Uh, yeah. I'll take one. Uh, I'll take one. Okay. Also, I would put... Karth's shield on now, but I'm pretty sure, like... Please, it... you have to help me! Whoa! Nobody else is gonna help me, even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there, he, he's my friend! You'll help me, won't you? Of course, uh, your mission! You're the only, the first Twi'lek girl I see. Eh, your mission, right? Gadon, Gadon Tech told, said you could help me. Gadon? What? I don't yeah, know what you're talking not, about. That's not what you Please, open with. <laughs> Zalbar's in trouble. He needs our help or they're gonna sell him into slavery. Yeah, it's like, uh, she's like, yeah, like, I need help! And I'm like, hey, uh, you're that person. Someone told me you could help me. It's like the most disconnected conversation ever. Zalbar, you mean your Wookiee friend? What happened? Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you <laughs> gotta figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Yeah, yeah. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Um, whoa, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Uh, why don't you ask Gadon and the Bex to help you? I can't ask Gadon. He's always telling me not to go into the Undercity. He says it's too dangerous with the Rat Ghouls and Gamorreans and all. He'll never send his Bex down there. I do remember when I first saw Mission, I was like, Man, I hope I can romance her! And then they're like, She's like a kid! And I was like, Never mind! <laughs> okay, I gotta help you get Zalbar back to get me inside the Volcor base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. We already asked that, Karth. that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Uh, if you just listen to me occasionally, you man, you would know I already asked that question. <laughs> okay. Yes, now we get mission! Cool. Add. Add a mission and we go. Huh? Yay. Level up. So, she's good at intelligence and I think she's a... Uh, hang on, is this... That doesn't modify the modifier. 
That's okay. We'll do that one. And then skill. She's good at awareness. Security, stealth, and demolitions. And uh, yeah, I'll just not use that point. Maybe I don't know. Do you got? I feel like you, like you can kind of save up points, but it doesn't really matter. She's already basically maxed out the skills. Oh, that one needs two. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. Well then, that's why you save it. Okay. And do we have? So she has one pistol. What what is her abilities? Oh crap. Um Scrip Snow Shoot. Oh, feet. Okay. Oh, okay, so she's got the single weapon. Can she use... She can use a rifle and a blaster pistol. I might have a blaster rifle. And that... Okay. Okay. Sure. Do I have... I do have a combat suit for her. I must have picked it up without realizing it. Jeez. Oh, nice. She's got the... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, she has the stealth field generator equipped. So she's supposed to be sneaky. I never use it, though. Like, on myself. What is this? Oh, wait, hang on. I'll give it to Karth, I guess. Reflex plus two. Cool. Neural... Oh, no. These things are crazy. Like, some of the stuff that you get on your face, it's so funny. It's so funny to me. Alright, wait, wait, wait. We got a dead end over here. I kind of was surprised. I was like, oh, that was fast. Oh, wait, this is... Okay, let's try... No, okay, we'll try to disable it. I don't think I'm... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think she's good at this. Huh? No, wait, me, come back. Oh, disengage. What? No, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Huh? Okay. Let's see if she can do it. Also, this is the smoking, hulking ruin that looks like it's just kind of part of the scenery. Is actually the one of the crashed space pods, which is what I was also looking for. So we're helping out. We came here to look for mission, but we also, I think we did want to check the crashed space pods and see if we'd found any survivors or anything. Nice. I don't use the hmm? frag grenades. I don't. They, or the, the, like the, oh, shoot. Hi. Oh. Help. Help. Oh, oh, Please. oh, no. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing. Oh, no. Like some kind of hideous disease. Oh. Oh, see if I can find something to help you. I can. No. Oh, no. no. I can feel it. No. Wow, it's like Beauty and the Beast, but in reverse. You know? Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, and what sort of, what sort of, like, disease thing can do that to a person? Oh, no! I'm leveling up, though. Oh, I didn't need to use that thing now. Help pack. Persuade. Uh-huh. And... I don't need my awareness up right now. Demolition would be nice though. And I figured like, I don't know, as a scout, like I have a wide variety of abilities, you know? Mm. Uh, that's nice. Uh, there was a feat though. Let's see, somebody said that the reason I was missing so much was... Hang on, let me see. Oh gosh, let me hang on. 
gonna look at the comment really quick. I don't have the two weapon fighting feat and I am using a two bladed weapon which counts as two weapon. Oh, so that was for on my earlier save file. Okay, so I was missing a lot of my stuff when I was using that like really cool, like I didn't buy another one, unfortunately. Um, but a, um, whatever it was that like, uh, like pole weapon essentially, but had a blade on either end, but that makes sense. Um, I only had... Did I, do I have that one or no? Hang on. Uh, critical Strike is a good one. I actually really do, because I, I do have that. Okay. Um, hang on. I have that. Two weapons. So I could have one. I could have one on both hands. I don't think I do. To. I do think I want critical strike. I have liked that one. I was like, what? But uh, then I realized it's because I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. Uh, I don't know if it's kind of worth it. Oh, mission. Mission has a vibroblade? Wait. Does mission want... She's got a high dexterity. She's not a melee-based character. I think I remember seeing that and being like, what? Like, I think I have, I have a vague recollection now of being like, why does Mission have a vibroblade? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't have any more anything for her. Nope, nope, nope. Do I risk it? What do I have right now? A uh, Volcar shock stick, not as cool. Whoa, the long sword does more. Oh wait, well the prototype right over blade actually no, is better. It just has a slightly higher like minimum damage that it will do. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, what was it again? The normal penalties of minus six on the main hand and minus ten offhand are reduced by zero four. So the using of use of balanced weapon in the offhand can further reduce the attack penalty by two zero. Wait, so no, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do a wield. The penalties are too severe, too severe, in my opinion. I know, I remember being surprised at like how much rubble and stuff there is down here to like look at and loot. Okay, so that's where we came in. So I'm gonna go over to this dead end. Parts and credits. Did I pick them up? Okay. Oh ho! Uh, sewer. No, no, no. We. That's fine. We're gonna go to the sewer. We know where that entrance is. We've seen it. But, oh wow, there's a lot. Oh no, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, hey, I know you. What upy? Sorry, that was dumb. That was a really dumb word I just tried to do. Those look like Republic soldiers, though. Don't, don't move. I'm, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Oh, okay. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. Smart man. To salvage something from those oh, downed yeah. Republic space pods. No other reason. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. They're wearing the salvaged armor from the Republic soldiers, though. Um... Why? Is there some danger down here? This isn't a good place Duh. to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. <laughs> All your friends that you left behind. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Adhesive grenade. 
Will that do anything? Yeah! yeah. Alright, in we go! Oh no! The boy who complained! Oh, it did do something. I think. The boy, the boy who was scared died! Boy, okay. Uh, is Damn. that scripted? I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean by that? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. You guys weren't fast enough. Also, how exactly, if there's no, like, sky, I feel like this is, like, underground, sort of? Like, how did the pods crash down here? All the way down here. It, 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 they'd have to, like, crash through the surface of the planet to get here. What can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Let's off exchange information in the middle Davik. of a dangerous zone. He's a member of the exchange. You know, the interstellar crime syndicate. Smuggling, yeah, yeah. gambling, uh -huh. extortion. I know exactly. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. I know what that That's is. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. What do you know about the lower city this gangs? This isn't really the best place yeah. to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately, the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. Okay, bye. Come on, boys. Let's move out. You literally have, like, one guy left. Oh, he's got two. Okay. Oh, maybe one of the guys did live. Okay. I thought he only had two with him originally, and then... Wow! Oh, hold on a second. Wow, wow. I don't have a... I don't have an antidote. Jeez. This is doing a lot of damage. Holy moly. I don't have any antidotes. How long is this gonna be doing damage to me? Okay. And I think I'll have to call it here while giving you guys a glimpse of the future fight that we're gonna get involved in. But uh, I did end up realizing that I'd spent too long uh, playing and then I had to cut the episode in half like I often have to do. But this has been really fun and I've only remembered like 35% of it. So it's been pretty pretty good to come back and like refresh my memory. But um, I hope you're all enjoying and I hope to see you in the next one.